Hello and welcome to the tutorial on robotic process automation using UiPath. In this session, we will consider an example to build a workflow using Screen Scraper Wizard that scrapes the text using the full text scraping method and tries to store the information in a notepad file. So in this example, we will be making use of full text scraping method and try to scrape some information from a Google search and then try to store the same information in a notepad file. Okay. So let us jump into our UiPath Studio software and let us create a new flowchart and let us name it as full text scraping and say create. So once the design panel is ready, let us add the activities. So let us go to the activities panel and the first activity that we are going to add is the open browser activity. So this we will drag and drop it here and let us change the browser type from the properties panel to be equal to Chrome and let us click on this open browser activity. And let us specify the URL as www.google.com and once this URL is opened up the first activity that we're going to perform is the type into activity so that we will type something in the search bar and then we'll try to access so this we need to indicate it on the browser so let us click here and let us click on this indicate element inside the browser. So this is chosen wrongly here. Let us indicate it once again. So let us go to the Google. So this is the part where we need to choose. So let us indicate it once again from the type into activity. Say so indicate on the screen. So this is the part where it should type. And in the double quotations, we will specify UI path. And along with this, we will also add the enter key to be pressed. Okay, so along with typing UI path, it will hit the enter button. So the next task is to scrape the information. Okay. So before scraping, let us go to the Google and be ready with the window that we will use for scraping purpose. So in this search, let us try to scrape this particular information that is present on the right hand side. So let us go back to UI path and select the screen scraping. So this will allow you to choose a part from where you can scrape. So this part we will choose so that it can scrape the information. So it has scraped using the full text method. So full text method is the default method that is chosen once you try to scrape. So this full text method has taken 889 milliseconds for scraping the selected area. So this is the information that is extracted. So let us click on the finish button. So we have this screen scraping now. So let us join it with the previous activity. And then the next thing is to get the information from the scraping activity and then store it in notepad file. So once we scrape the information, the text that we have scraped will be stored in some particular variable and here in this case it is a variable called as div. So if we can access the variables panel can see a variable called as div. 
so let us change its scope so that we can access it outside the screen scraping sequence so let us choose it to be the entire flowchart and then let us come back to our flowchart and try to add another activity here say write text so let us drag and drop this write text file activity after this screen scraping and let us go inside this and indicate the text that is div dot to string since it is not of type string so we will have to convert it into to string so where to write so we will select it by clicking on this three dots so it will allow you to choose a file or create a new one so let us access the desktop and then create a new text file and name it as full text scraping.txt and click on the save button so that the entire information is saved in this particular text file or notepad file so let us save this sequence then come back to our flowchart and then let us run this workflow so it has started the debugging and now it has started the uh, execution of the workflow and the bot has started running now the chrome browser is opened up with google.com Has typed for UI path, and once the page is loaded, now it has scraped the information and it has stored it in the notepad file. So let us go to our notepad file, which is there on the desktop, and see whether the information is written. So this is the information that was present on the search page and it has scraped successfully. So this is how we try to scrape the information using the full text method. Thank you. Thank you for watching.